In this video, we're gonna test the Arduino Nano RP2040 Connect which is an Arduino board with the Raspberry Pi chip on it and also with built-in ESP32. Yes, this board also has built-in ESP32 chip which most of you may not be aware about but I will let you know everything about it in this video. So if I divide this whole video in different different topics then first we'll be discussing about the specification of the board. After that we'll be comparing it with the original Raspberry Pi Pico board. After that, we will see how to use this Arduino Nano uh, RP24 with the help of the Arduino IDE. After that, we will be testing out some example codes and we will be making different different projects out of it. And in the end, I will be concluding that whether you should buy this board or not. So yeah, this is the complete guide on the Arduino Nano RP2040 board. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM which is a PCB designer software company. LTM has all the tools that you need to design a professional PCB with high productivity. And well, it is widely used in big electronic companies like Texas Instruments, Siemens, SIGET and many more for their PCB designs. It has advanced routing features, real-time cost estimations and also you can design your own flexible PCBs using this software. So this is an all-in-one professional PCB designing software for all your needs. So go ahead and try your hands on with this software. A free trial version is waiting for you. Now click on the link mentioned in the description to get a free trial of LTM Designer software. So this is how you will receive this board in the lovely Arduino colored theme box with some basic specifications mentioned on the back. And also we have this hologram sticker on the side which reveals its authenticity. Now inside this box we get the board itself and a paper chart that has some details about Arduino company. So that was all about the unboxing part. Now let us see its specifications in detail. Now we all know that this board is based on Raspberry Pi RP2040 chip which is a 32-bit dual-core ARM Cortex-M0 Plus silicon clocked at 133 MHz with 264 KB RAM. After that, we have this Nina W102 chip which provides the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communication for our IoT projects. But when I read the datasheet of this Nina W102 module, I found out that this module is based on ESP32 chip. Now this was really strange and surprising. Strange because if Arduino has to use the ESP32 chip, why they went for RP2040 chip as well? Like ESP32 chip in itself is much better and advanced than the RP2040 chip in major aspects. I'm really not getting the game of using RP20 chip. Are you getting something? Well, coming back to the specification side. Now this board's input voltage is 5V but the operating voltage of GPIO is 3.3V so do take care of this while making our projects on it. Now after that this board has an external 16MB of flash memory chip on it which is connected to RP2040 via SPI. Then we have the built-in 6-axis IMU or inertial measurement unit for motion related projects. Along with that we have built-in MEMS microphone for voice related projects and also a push button which acts both as a reset button and a boot select button. Great job Arduino on managing both the tasks on the single push button. Hey Raspberry Pi, you need to learn this from Arduino. So that was all about the overview and specification of this new nano board. Now let us directly compare it with the original Pi Pico board. So this board has the same form factor as the original Arduino nano board but it is slightly smaller than the Pi Pico board yet able to manage a lot of this in the small form factor. Now unlike Pi Pico, this board is compatible with Arduino IDE and also with the Arduino IDE cloud for making IoT projects thanks to its hidden ESP32 chip. Now here Pi Pico loses with the flash memory size as well. Pi Pico has only 2 MB of flash memory while this Arduino Nano RP2040 board has a 16 MB of flash memory. Now comes the last point of comparison which is its price. So Arduino Nano RP2040 board is 5 times expensive than the Pi Pico board. Yes, the Pi Pico board is available at just $5 while the Arduino board is available at $25. Now, if I talk the price in India then the Pi Pico is available at around 400 rupees in India while the Nano board is available at around 2800 rupees. So yeah, that was all about the basic comparison between the Nano board and the Pi Pico board. Now let's jump on to the Arduino IDE and let's see how we can program this Arduino Nano board using Arduino IDE. So now I will guide you how to program this Arduino Nano RP2040 board using Arduino IDE. For that, I'm using my Arduino IDE 1.18.13 version. Now here you just need to go to tools, into boards and now into boards manager. 
Now here just type Arduino Nano RP2040 and press enter. So here as you can see, uh, Arduino Embed OS Nano Boards option appeared here, which contains all the boards, including the Arduino Nano RP2040 as well. You just need to click on the install button. I already installed the version 2.5.2 on my computer. You just need to click on the install button and it will automatically install all the related boards. After that, click on the close button. And now you're ready to upload your first code inside the Arduino Nano Board. It's really very simple and straightforward. Let's try uploading the Blink example code directly. I'll go to examples, into basics, into Blink. So yeah, here is our Blink example. I will select the right board now, which is the Arduino Nano RP2040, which is available here. Okay, select this board. After that, just select the right port, which is already selected here in my case, and click on the upload button straight away. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded and on my Arduino board, the orange LED started blinking at an interval of one second. That means we are successfully able to upload our first code inside this Arduino Nano RP2040 board. It's really very simple, very straightforward. Arduino has made it very, very easy to get started with the new boards like that quickly. So that was all about how to use it. And now I will let you know how to, you know, make different, different projects on it, like how to use their Wi-Fi chip, how to use their IMU chip and how to use their there a microphone as well so let me take you to the examples so here is the official uh, documentation of Arduino Nano RP2040. Now, before I take you to the any example code, let me thank Arduino for providing this superb documentation. Like while going through this particular documentation, you don't even need any of the YouTube video, any of the tutorial video. Just go through this article, go through different, different pages and you'll get all the details. Maybe it's a specification, maybe it's overview, maybe it's data sheet, maybe it's example codes as well. So a big thumbs up and I'll give A plus to superb documentation by Arduino, okay? So now here under the tutorial section, they have provided different, different example codes just to get started with different, different things on the Arduino R uh, Nano RP2040. For example, this article will guide you with connecting the Nano RP2040 with the Arduino IoT Cloud. Yes, this is, uh, you know, supported in Arduino IoT Cloud as well. Come on, it's a board from Arduino, so we can expect this, okay? So by just reading or by going through this article, you will successfully able to connect this Arduino Nano board with the Arduino IoT Cloud. So like, it is a superb documentation, okay? So still, I will let you know uh, how to use these articles or how to use different, different codes, how to use different, different libraries to get started with all the things inside this Arduino Nano RP2040. We'll start with the Wi-Fi example first of all, okay? Let me just uh, open up the example code called as control built-in RGB LED over Wi-Fi. Let us open this example code, okay? So using this example code, basically we'll be getting a web page in which we'll be having three different buttons just like this, one for red, one for green and one for blue so by just you know uh, toggling these buttons we'll be able to turn on and off the led like built-in rgb led on our arduino nano board but here is one catch by just you know copying this code and directly uploading it onto the arduino nano board it won't work at all okay so you need to have to, you need to follow one step to make it work and i'll let you know that step as well first of all i'll, I'll copy this code i'll go back to my arduino id open up a new example a new blank file and I will paste this code here, okay? So first of all, as you can see, there are two libraries included. One is the SPI library, which is already uh, included with your Arduino IDE. And second is the Wi-Fi Nina library. Now this is the library, which is essential for all the Wi-Fi related uh, functionalities, okay? And how to get this library? You just need to go to sketch, into include libraries, into manage libraries. Now here, just search for Wi-Fi Nina and just install this particular library. In my case, I have already installed. After doing that, you'll be able to upload this example code. So before that, like let's just provide the SID name and password of our Wi-Fi router so that this board can get connected with that router, okay? Okay, so I have provided the Wi-Fi credentials of my Wi-Fi router. Now let me tell you one thing, this particular board can act as a Wi-Fi uh, access point as well as Wi-Fi station or both at the same time, okay? So yeah, that's it. Now I'll select the right board and port, which I think must already be selected. It's already selected. Now I'll straight away hit the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded let me just open this serial monitor i'll reset this board so as you can see it got connected to my wi-fi router and it also got its own local ip address using which we'll be able to access that web page so i'll copy this and open my web browser and i'll paste this local ip address and press enter as you can see that web page appeared with the three buttons red green and blue and the off button of their uh, respective color okay so i click on this on button on the red one as you can see the red led turned on on my uh, arduino nano board i'll click on off it will turn it off similarly for green i can turn on the green and 
turn it off again similarly i can turn on the blue and turn it off again and i can turn on all the three leds uh at the same time as well okay so yeah we are able to you know wirelessly transfer the data using a web page uh over wi-fi you can say okay it's a local area network based code only but similarly we can make the internet control projects as well using this particular wi-fi or the, we can say arduino nano board okay similarly we have other example codes provided by uh, the arduino itself which is uh, related to the microphone and imu let me just take you to those codes as well okay so first of all let us test this reading microphone data so using this particular code we can you know uh, turn on and off the lights we can say or led on this board using a clap or using a using a tap or clap or anything okay you can turn on and off that led so for that they have provided the code as well so here is that particular code to do this i'll simply copy this particular code and i'll paste that code here okay uh, now here we don't need to do any changes because we already have the wi-fi nina library installed and the pdm already installed with the arduino itself now here one question arises that we are not using any wi-fi related activity then why we have included this wi-fi nina library now that's a very obvious question you should ask well it's just because here we are using the RGB LED of the Arduino Nano board and the RGB LED is directly connected to the ESP32 chip which is inside this U, uh, U blocks we can say uh, chip you can say okay so basically to access that u blocks part or the esp32 part we need to use this wi-fi nina library even we are not using the wi-fi related networks okay so as we are using the rgb led the blue led in this case we have to include this library okay so that's the reason here okay and you can cross check this inside this schematic of this arduino nano okay i already cross checked that so uh, that's it about this code and now i will simply upload this code by confirming the right board and port yes it is selected already i'll click on the upload button okay so it says done uploading and now we can observe the audio signals inside the serial plotter as well for that just go inside the tools and select serial plotter as you can see we are getting these waveforms here these are the audio waveforms recorded by this microphone and if i clap here as you can see the blue light turned on and we also got the spike inside the serial monitor if we can turn off the blue light by clapping it again So this was a simple example code just to test the inbuilt microphone of this Arduino Nano board and you can make a simple clap on and clap off uh, LED project or even you can attach a bulb here and you can turn on and off the bulb based on your clap sequence you can say okay yes yeah, so yeah that was all about the microphone related example code and similarly we have the IMU related example code which I will open uh, in this particular web page here is that IMU machine learning code features so now here in this article they have provided the example code just to test out the imu and they will be printing whether this board is stationary or whether the activity is biking walking and jogging so this all will be predicted using that imu chip here okay so for that i need to have the example code which uh, i think they should have provided okay so they are saying we have to use the example code of this particular library and before that we need to install this particular library so what i'll do i'll simply copy the name of this particular library okay after copying that i'll go to arduino into sketch to include library and to manage libraries here i'll paste that name and press enter so here's that library i'll simply click on the install button and click on install all as of now okay so the library is successfully installed i'll click on the close button i'll go to files into examples into the last option called as incompatible into this particular option in and i'll open this example code Okay, so here is that example code now here in the example code we just need to change one single thing which is this line okay so here we have to change this line to with this and that's pretty much it now we can upload this code and test out this project and for that i'll cross check again if the board and port is selected it is selected already i'll click on the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded i'll open the serial monitor let's change the border to 11 5 no the border is fine i think so okay so now it says activity as stationary i'll try to move this board a little bit and let's see if the activity changes okay the activity changes to jogging i'll slow it down like i'll slow my movements and let's see what we are getting 
ओके नाउ इट से इज बाइकिंग ओके सो लाइक आई एम लाइक जस्ट ट्राइंग टू इमिटेट दीज डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज एंड एज यू कैन सी वी आर गेटिंग द रिस्पॉन्स ऑन द सीरियल मॉनिटर इट केम बैक अगेन टू स्टेशन बिकॉज आई लेव दैट बोर्ड ऑन टू द टेस्क ओके सो यार दिस पर्टिकुलर आई एम यू एग्जाम्पल कोड इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर आर डी नो ने नो आर पी ट्वेंटी फोर्टी बोर्ड सो वी आर सक्सेसफुली टेस्टेड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड एवरी एग्जाम्पल कोड इज परफेक्टली वर्किंग सिमिलर यू कैन ट्राई आउट डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल कोड्स प्रोवाइडेड हियर इन साइड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आई लीव इट्स लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली ट्राई इट आउट सो यार दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट मेकिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑन दिस आर डी नो आर ने नो आर पी ट्वेंटी फोर्टी बोर्ड नाउ कम्स टू द कंक्लूजन नाउ दिस बोर्ड इज completely perfect with all the points that you consider before buying a controller board like it is easy to use easy to program it's a low power it has multiple things built on it to make different different projects it has everything on it now the only point which i think the people will worry before buying this board is its price point so 25 dollar is a serious price point for this board but hey come on it's an original arduino product and the genuine arduino products are tend to be expensive okay now here you can go for esp32 if you just want to use wifi and bluetooth or ble and you can also go for pi pico if you just want to do basic projects like the offline projects but if you want to do all of this plus you want an imu plus if you want a microphone then this is the all in one small form factor based board called as arduino nano rp2040 you can definitely go for this also let me tell you this board is compatible with the micro python so this is not at all lagging at any point so long story short this is the perfect board for your basic to advanced level iot projects i would definitely recommend it to you all i'll also leave its purchase link in the description also do let me know in the comments like what kind of projects you want us to make using this nano rp2040 connect board and we'll definitely try to make that project just for our lovely tech guys miss community do drop your ideas do share your ideas and the idea which is quite interesting quite impressive for our team we'll definitely try to work on that and we'll upload a tutorial as well so make sure you subscribe the channel if you don't want to miss out what kind of projects we are going to make using this board and also stay tuned because we do have some more genuine arduino boards coming straight from italy so we'll be soon making this kind of detailed you know review and introduction or getting started videos on that particular board so do subscribe the channel and that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me techie sms